Welcome back to Condition by Kia. Today is day nine of 30 of the 30 day challenge that I have designed for beginners and postpartum moms or anybody who just wants to build their core stability, mobility, and strength overall. But let's go ahead, let's jump in it, and let's get sweaty. All right, so this first one is going to be an elbow plank step out. So you're gonna get into your elbow plank position, making sure to have that alignment on your spine and the alignment from your shoulder to your elbow in that 90 degree. And the step out portion, all you're doing is just stepping out and back in, making sure to keep your core nice and tight and keeping it in that neutral position all at the same time. These next ones are going to be a single leg leg drop or a single leg leg raise or a single leg leg lift, whichever you want to call it. But pretty much you're going to keep your legs as straight as possible, dropping one leg and then the other leg. You can have your hands behind your head or you can have your hands under your hips, whichever is more comfortable for your lower back. But as long as you're keeping your core nice and tight the whole time, you're going to be getting the target area. All right, next up is the plank walkout. So you're gonna get into your regular plank position, keeping that alignment from your shoulders all the way down to your wrist into one line. And from here, you're just gonna walk one hand out and bring it back. Now the trick here, you wanna really make sure that you do not lock out on those elbows. You want a slight bend about the entire time. And of course, you wanna make sure you keep that alignment with your spine, so keeping those hips neutral all the way through to the top of your head. All right, this next one is going to be a lean back Russian twist or lean back Mason twist, however you want to call it. But pretty much you're going to do the lean back, side, side, and bring it back up again. This one you're going to go for a whole minute. Really make sure that you're flexing on the core and not straining the lower back. If you need to have a little bit of lower back support, you can roll up a towel and place it underneath your back. And that way you have a little bit of extra support if you have lower back issues. And this one here is going to be the mountain climber walks. So you're going to get into that plank position yet again, making sure your elbows are unlocked and then your foot comes in and taps just in front of you like a walk. If this is a bit too easy, you can always turn this into the run. But for this one, I'm just going to be doing the mountain climber walk.
And from here, a quick breath, a quick stretch of breathing and stretching. And after this, it's gonna be one more round of each of those exercises.
much for joining me. I hope you're having a fun time with this challenge so far. And also I encourage you to post in the comments about your progress so far so that way you can help to encourage others along their journey as well. Um, if you have any questions about nutrition or fitness in general, feel free to check my website here or leave your questions down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. But as always, I hope you have an awesome and wonderfully blessed day and I hope to see you in the next one.